on this slide we prove an important lemma which will be a prime ingredient in the proof of part b of the theorem so the lemma is hp op n d is equal to hp op n d plus 1 and p goes from 1 to n minus 1 we have already shown uh, what h0 is and what hn is so p just goes from 1 2 3 4 all the way to n minus 1 so we use induction here and the induction hypothesis most likely will be hand waving and we will make the induction hypothesis more clear later on so first notice that h1 is 0 now this follows just from the check complex there is only a single co-boundary map and that map is onto and thus kernel is equal to the image and we have h1 as 0 so this is the check complex for p1 now we will say till n minus 2 we have induction hypothesis again i am not making the induction precisely clear what we are i am saying is that hp op n minus 2 d is 0 so again I will make this clear later on so consider this important exact sequence yeah so this is the sequence of a hypersurface you just multiply by x0 and then modulo it out and h is the hyperplane corresponding to the vanishing set of x0 so just the standard hyperplane definition now obviously it's the hyperplane that means it is isomorphic to p n minus 1 so the corresponding long exact sequences you have h0 and then we have h0 oh d plus 1 instead of h i'm going to write pn minus 1 since hyperplane is isomorphic to pn minus 1 then we go to h1 opn opn d plus 1 then h1 should be h1 then h2 h2 here opn minus 1 again i'm just replacing hyperplane h with pn minus 1 So as we go on yeah so we go on till n minus 1 again for the induction hypothesis we went till n minus 2 so n minus 1 is what we have to show to so you have n minus 1 then finally you reach n d plus 1 and then h n o p n minus 1 d plus 1 and 0 okay now i'm going to with the rust color these are 0 by induction hypothesis so all the way to h n minus 2 so the rust color shows what is 0 by induction hypothesis so because of these being 0 we have the following isomorphisms So we have H2 OP and D. This is ISO2 H2 OP and D plus 1. Then H3, same with H3, same with H4, H5, H6, all the way to HN 
minus 2. So we need to show it for h n minus 1. Yeah, so our lemma goes from 1 to n minus 1. So p goes from 1 to n minus 1. So we have shown cases from 2 to n minus 2. Now two more cases we need to show. We need to show for h1 and we need to show for h n minus 1. So first let us deal with the case we need to show for h1. Now this h1 op and d this will be iso2 h1 op and d plus 1 If we have the following isomorphism, I mean a following short exact sequence. So if we have this following short exact sequence, then we have a isomorphism. Yeah, this is clear because if this we have a short exact sequence here, then you have zero on the left and zero on the right of H1 OP and D, H1 OP and D plus one, which makes it a isomorphism. But this, th this is a short exact sequence, this holds because of dimension. Notice that dimension here of HP, H0, OP and D is N plus D, N. Here it is N minus 1, D plus 1, N minus 1, 1, 1 cancels out. And here it is N plus D plus 1, choose N. So you add this and this, it equals to, so you add this, it equals to this. So by dimension counting, the sequence has to be a exact sequence. So the sequence holds and we have shown the result is true for H1. Now for Hn minus 1. So Hn minus 1 OP and D is equal to Hn minus 1 OP and D plus 1. So this holds if we have a short exact sequence again and that short exact sequence would mean delta is injective. So first note that this is zero yeah, because we are talking about cohomology group Hn and we have Pn minus uh, 1 but the check complex already has become zero because we only have n minus one cover so for c n we already have zero that is why cohomology group h n is zero so what we are looking forward to is this short exact sequence so if we have this short exact sequence from h n minus one to H and O, P and D. So basically I've just taken the last three terms of the long exact sequence. Yeah, forgetting about the term which is zero because of the check complex. So if this is a short exact sequence, we are done. Now again, we will do dimension counting. Now obviously these groups would make sense if D is high negative. So the dimension here is as in the theorem d minus 1 minus 1 choose n minus 1 similarly here yeah you can add these two and you will get the dimension here so the dimensions add up and by dimension counting so you take this and this, add them up. It equals this and therefore we have a short exact sequence and we have that this holds. 